Brown, a research scientist on the Accelerated Materials Discovery and Design and Discovery, or AFDD team here at TRI. So I'm also going to talk about my path to TRI, but I'm going to start from the very beginning. So I was born in Seoul, South Korea, but spent most of my childhood and adolescent years in Manila in the Philippines, where my dad's job took us. I mean, it was fantastic growing up in the Philippines. There's warm tropical weather, great food, white sandy beaches, which is on the picture there. But my favorite part was meeting friends from all over the world. And in fact, when I'm not here talking about science on a Thursday night, I'm out there playing, <laughs> playing flag football with my high school friends, their college friends, and their friends. So anyway, when I graduated from high school, I went to Princeton to study chemical and biological engineering. And my first year at Princeton, I started doing research in an organic solar cells lab. And I loved it so much that I continued to do research in the same lab for the next three years. When I graduated from Princeton, I decided that I wanted to do even more polymer science research, so I went to Northwestern to get a PhD in material science and engineering. My PhD work was on the phase behavior of ion-containing polymers. So these are polymers that are great candidates for polymer or plastic batteries. Plastic batteries, you might ask. <laughs> but think about all the plastics or polymers that you know and their rich properties, like styrofoam, which is light but rigid, nylons and polyesters, which you can wear, and Kevlar, which is extremely tough, it's bulletproof. Think about this wide array of properties that polymers have and imagine the possibilities. A polymer battery that is flexible, lightweight, safe, and even recyclable is not out of the question. But it's gonna take many, many years before we can get there. And that's because the scientific research process is incredibly slow. First, you have to understand the problem. What are the technical challenges of making a polymer battery? What's been tried? What hasn't been tried? Then you have to formulate a hypothesis. Maybe this material has a mechanical strength in the ionic conductivity that's relevant for a polymer battery. Then you have to figure out how to make that material. Then you test it to see if it has the properties that you want. Once you have the results, you analyze them. Did your hypothesis work? Yes, no, maybe you don't know. So you have to repeat the entire process. And this process is slow, not only because each step can take a long time, but because many scientific hypotheses end in failures. And that's part of the process. It's what enables us to learn, to refine our understanding of science, and to take a step in the right direction. But this necessary process is unnecessarily slow. In a traditional industrial lab, the R&D cycle can take anywhere between 5 and 25 years, even more. And we don't have this kind of time to solve the challenges that we face today. As of 2017, transportation accounted for more than 29% of greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. And more than 82% of that came from driving. The technologies that we have in our cars and trucks today simply aren't cutting it. For a sustainable future, we need new materials and new technologies, and we can't wait tens of years. So how do we accelerate this materials discovery process while enhancing scientists' ability to learn, to discover, and to advance scientific knowledge? And that's where my team comes in. Using big data, machine learning methods, and high throughput automated experiments that are driven by these methods, we develop tools to accelerate the design of advanced materials for zero emission technology, such as batteries and fuel cells. Our tools accelerate mater materials discovery by helping researchers fail faster. And what does that mean? Here are some of the projects that our team's been working on. Matt Scholar uses natural language processing that contains over, sorry, it contains over four million, information from over four million scientific abstracts. In a matter of minutes, 
it can help you discover whether materials that are similar to yours in composition, property, or application have already been studied, something that without this tool could have taken you years, if not decades, to achieve. Using machine learning methods, we've also created Beep, which can predict the lifetime of a battery from just the first 100 cycles. And this saves a ton of time on the battery development cycle, because currently, in order to test a battery's lifetime, you have to cycle it until it dies, which can take more than thousands of cycles. In addition, using optimal experiment design, we can recommend the next set of experiments to run, given the last set that you ran and its results. We can even teach a scientific tool, the scientific method, in CAMD. Given an objective, such as discover a new stable material, it can formulate its own hypothesis, launch simulations according to that hypothesis, refine its hypothesis according to failed simulations, and keep running them until it discovers a new stable material. And it does the legwork so that you as a researcher don't have to start from ground zero. As you can see, our work in AMDD really spans many materials, many applications, and many scientific disciplines. And this brings me to my favorite part, the people. Our team really brings together scientists and engineers from a diverse set of backgrounds, anywhere from computational physics, applied math, to software engineering, who are passionate about discovering materials and accelerating materials discovery for zero emission technology. Our tools are interdisciplinary because they've been developed, tested, and used firsthand by researchers with diverse backgrounds, us. We also maintain deep connections to fundamental science. Our tools really draw from and build upon the intuition and knowledge of scientists and seek to empower scientists in their learning. And to do this, we work very closely with our consortium of more than 10 university partners and 125 researchers from those academic institutions. Our goal is to accelerate materials discovery, not just for the autonomous vehicle industry, but for the scientific community as a whole. By building tools, we're building connections and communities because we believe that working together and failing together is the fastest way to sustainable solutions. Thank you. <laughs>